Cone, yeah, I guess that's that's, that's, that's like I'm lucky. Lucky. Yeah. 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 Right. So amazing audience, we are live with Teddy Cohn. Did I do that correct? Teddy Cohn. Teddy Teddy Cohn, yeah, yeah, I guess that's that's good. And what's your name? Angel Jewels. Angel, A Angel Jewels. Jewels. Jones. Jewels. Jones. J O N E S. Oh, Jones. Angel yeah, Jones. That's yeah. cool. Okay. Yeah. Pleasure. Pleasure. Nice. Right. <laughs> okay. Whatever. We do that in Trinidad a lot. I know. Know? That's why I know. I, that's yeah, why I do it like as a joke. Yeah. It's all the, all the kids do it. They yeah. blow it up. <laughs> okay. Well, do tell me, which of your talents do you think is responsible for us connecting at this very point of time right now in history? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I would just say. I don't know if it's a talent, but I'm I'm my my talent and ability to just be myself. I don't know. Yeah. I, I can't put a box around it. I mean, I who knows? It's hard to take credit for anything. Yeah. I don't I don't know. Am I supposed to be looking at this? Am You're I good? You can look at it. I don't. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> it seems fake. It seems fake to look at that if I'm talking to you. Yeah, we can Because then, yeah. then I get self-conscious, like, yeah, like it's about that. me. I, I don't, yeah. No, but I was just being myself and you were being yourself and you, I don't know. Yeah, it's amazing, right? right? Like we were in Starbucks, right? Yeah. You yeah. Saw, you, you're obviously an observant person, right? Yeah, I'm an observer and kind of a conversationalist, I guess. Um, I like to joke with people that they ask me what I do sometimes and I make something up that's kind of true but not satisfying in a professional way. So one of the things I'll often say is just like, I'm a charming drag on the gross national product. <laughs> or I'll say something like, I'm, I'm taking notes in the margins of the world. Or I'll say, um, I'm giving mouth to mouth resuscitation to the dying art of conversation. Wow. You know, that's what I feel like, because I do, that's kind of my natural mode is just to you know talk to people and and create some kind of um, interpersonal passing ephemeral exchange or texture that's real it's, yeah. it's I'm never trying to be cute but it's just I'll talk about whatever they're reading or doing because I, I know a lot about a lot of different things a little bit about things and I enjoy that I enjoy creating that little passing human connection and then letting it go. Yeah. I never, I never want anything from it. Yeah. And um, what did you I enjoy that from? it. I just, have, well, I've kind of always been that way. I've been that way more as I get older, um, and have less um, investment in any particular um, professional goal or outcome of anything. Yeah. I'm just more. I guess what my friends call kind of like Zen about things. I mean, I'm not very Zen. I'm like a neurotic Jewish person at some level. Yeah. But I'm, I am very non-goal oriented, yeah. um, just in general. Yeah. And, and sometimes people find that frustrating. Like, but that's, that's my mode. Okay. And I probably wasn't like that when I was younger. Were you not? I was more. I I was more focused on, like being affirmed in some way, being uh, successful in some way. Well, not, not monetarily successful, but having people um, acknowledge how funny or smart or whatever I was. And I've kind of detached from that now. I, yeah. And that's freeing for me. Why would you, know? you suggest that other people do that? Oh, I don't suggest anything for anyone. Yeah. I, don't, I try not to moralize. The one thing I am moralistic about is um, don't do harm to others yeah. and that's why I have a very strong opposition to this uh, clown government that we've got now yeah. it's very it's profoundly insulting to, to me as a human being um, and uh, um, viciously destructive to the well-being of the, the, the spirit and 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 um, honor of our nation in all, in all kinds of ways. I really deeply believe that. I have a motto that I put on my little blog at the end of it every time I just put, it says, resist, assist, persist, insist, stay calm and pissed, and exist. <laughs> I love it. And that's kind of the way I try to live. I, I feel like I don't try to give um, a lot of, I don't allow the awfulness to, take root in my mind too much. I try to tune it out 
because I know this orangutan buffoon, this orange buffoon, yeah. is just an attention craving awfulness. Understood. So I tune it out, but I still try to do little acts of resistance in my quiet way without taxing my psyche too much. What have you done consistently over the last three years? I, I write a blog every day. Where can we find out about that? It's blog? called Random Acts of Commentary. Okay. It's randomactsofcommentary.com. I think it's through like Google Blogger or something because okay. I've always been too lazy to make my own thing. But yeah. it's got a big following and I enjoy it. And yeah. I try to put in things that are funny and entertaining and, and also very real and honest and observational. And lately it's been a little bleak because I'm going through a lot of very awful health stuff yeah. very scary health stuff so there's a little bit of that but if anyone wants to read it um, hello out there potential <laughs> readers I'm not I really don't care I'm not I'm no, I don't mean that I don't mean that off-puttingly I I invite you but I don't care I don't have a, I don't have an investment in it but if you want to read it just know that um, it over the years it's very different from time to time it's not always as bleak it's as real it's life. been. It's real life. It's, it's me. It? Yeah, yeah, whatever. It's it's, yeah. it's Teddy. How does it make you feel when you're writing that? It's important to me in some weird way because I lead I lead a very um, untraditional existence, and and it's a form of of uh, connective tissue and continuity for me that is um, that's that's important for me. Yeah. I don't know. I think people really seem to really enjoy it, but to me that's kind of. Um, almost a secondary effect of it. It's more yeah. I do it. It's important for me, and um, you know. Let's switch gears for oh, a any, moment. Any right? gear you want. Let me invite you into my imaginary time machine. Okay. That is surrounded with beautiful, okay. warm blue Caribbean water. Ooh, yeah. Okay. What yeah, is okay. your earliest childhood memory? My earliest childhood memory, uh, apropos of that. Yeah. Okay. Well, the one that pops into my apropos of that is um, a really magical trip. I took when I was maybe 10 or 11 when my parents were still married. They divorced when I was 13. And today, I want to acknowledge it, is the um, anniversary of the day of my father's death. So I'm, Yeah, today, J June 23rd. So I always do something in his honor today. So I want to say, rest in peace, Dad. Much love. And I will eat something in your honor that you would have loved. And I hope I'm making you proud by the way, by the person I'm being on, on this day and on most days. I try my best. Wow. But m the memory was... Um, um, when my parents were still married we took a trip it was like a very rare family vacation and we went to those magical blue waters you're describing <laughs> in, in the Virgin Islands wow. called San Croix I think it was and it was a place Croix. called the Buccaneer San Croix yes. uh, and, 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 and there was a magical um, hotel called the Buccaneer Hotel and we could barely afford it but we were there and I here are the things I remember I remember dancing with my mother and I was like so in love with my mother even at 11 um, and, and I remember they gave us a complimentary pina colada without yeah. alcohol and I learned the word complimentary <laughs> and the third thing I remember is I went floating in the ocean in a beautiful blue ocean snorkeling yeah. and I didn't know what I was doing and I got this terrible sunburn on the back of my legs <laughs> and they had to rush me to the hospital it in St. Thomas bad. they had to fly me to St. Thomas to the hospital so. wow, it was but, but the trip was great and I why do you think that memory is so clear because you said blue water <laughs> and I think because you said the past yeah. and I think because it was the 40th anniversary of my high school reunion recently and someone just sent me a video that got me in touch with memories Connects, of the past right? past Connect, yeah? past yeah yeah and I like I, I, yeah, no, that's beautiful. Yeah, it is beautiful. Oh man, that's a beautiful area. There we go. Is that, is that where the water's I, like where you come yeah, from? it's beautiful. Oh, I know. I'm like, sexually, uh, like, uh, uh, mature. Uh, it's an incredibly gorgeous song. Yeah. Uh, uh, these kind of like heartbreaking songs I always liked. Um, um, I liked some of those beautiful early Cat Stevens and James Taylor songs, like, like, Fire and Rain and yeah. Joni Mitchell, um, Joni Mitchell, A Case of You, or River, or just a lot. I, mean, I just. I'm sure you could you write a narrative on how those songs connect oh, to who you are today oh, as yeah, well, right? Yeah, Even Fire yeah. in the Rain, You in the Sea, Being Burned. Yeah, on you your could. Leg, you could just start connecting. Yeah, those well, things. anyway, the human mind is yeah. made to connect the dots. Yes. So it's like, the, like for example, connect the dots. When we look in the sky and we see the constellations, all we're doing is connecting dots. There's no constellations. There's no picture of o Orion up there. Yeah. But the human mind connects them yeah. 
and make some narrative, and that's the what that's what human mind. That. But that's what the human mind is. Those that. stars are completely random. There's no pattern whatsoever. But the human mind creates connections and pattern. God bless it. Yeah. Without that, it would just be a bunch of you know disconnect. Whatever. You know, but no, but it's very true. All right. Well, we've arrived at our destination, but before oh, we, we get off, I, oh, I, <laughs> forgot that. Machine, I forgot that. I forgot. That's like a cool you're idea. You're the time machine, right? I like your. I like uh, your. I like your. Uh, there's a there's a declaration form here, so let's go right. What does that mean? De so they Small declaration form. You answer yes or no. Yeah. Oh, like, I see. Are you ready? I'm. I'm always it's ready. Like customs. <laughs> it's like customs. Whatever. Okay. Do I have? Okay. <laughs> have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Yes or no? Not, not no? consciously. No. Are you married? No. Do you have children? No. Do you believe in God? Not sure. Do you have an inner circle of friends? A what? Inner circle of friends. Yes. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? Never. Three, never. Never. What about TV. screen time? The phone and or the computer? More than eight or less than eight hours a day? Including writing on the computer? Yeah. Like a hundred. <laughs> hundred hours a day. I write. <laughs> if you, Teddy, have to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents Teddy, what would you say that is? Be comfortable within yourself. Um. Never sacrifice self-respect for goals, for worldly goals of power or fame or or money or whatever. Hmm. The thing I said earlier, I do believe in the resist, assist, assist persist, insist, there stay calm are. and pissed and exist. Okay. And try to be, uh, try your best to be at peace and to be a net positive in some way, in whatever way you know how, with whatever hand you've been dealt and with whatever limitations you have. I mean, that's really all I believe in, you that's know. Good. I don't know, make, there we go. I'd probably say something different in 10 minutes, yeah, but, that's, th but that's still true. Which is good. They're all true. That's who you are. And, yeah, and your name is Angel, like, on hell, like, like, is it, on hell, yeah. is it pronounced? Is on hell. I was gonna yeah. say, I was gonna say, because <laughs> I was just rooting, uh, um, for the Mexican team, right. just because I want to see Mexico win so Donald Trump suffers. <laughs> That'd be funny, but, but it's cool. Well, in, lovely to meet you, In man. closing, though, oh. share something, if no. you want. No, you're good? Um, I've been, I think I've been sharing. I'm happy to share more. Mm. Hello, I forgot you guys are there. <laughs> Hello. Um, I, um, um, no, it's been nice. I, I remember when I was younger, I was in an improv class somewhere, and I remember um, how ashamed I felt at the end of the final performance because I hadn't been in the moment, truly. I had been trying to force something into it yeah. like that I had in my mind before it started. And I had a, sh I had a feeling of shame about that. And um, I'm very glad I don't feel that right now at okay. all because okay. I was in the, I was, you know, compl I completely forgot you were there too, but <laughs> hello. And, um, and yeah, no, I'd be interested to see. Can, is this something that you can send to me? Yeah, I'd be curious. It'd be fun. Hi, dear, and dear. pleasure. Oh, hello, dear. Hello, that's dear. that's right. my lovely neighbor. <laughs> um, uh, she's from Brazil, Paula. Right. She oh, has two nice other Brazilian sisters. He's interviewing and, uh, me for something. There's a little camera there. So <laughs> that was like that seemed like it was scripted, but it wasn't. <laughs> but it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's, oh, probably it I hope was. you feel better, dear. Big hugs. Hey, She's 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 got, was she's going through by yeah by by the by the <laughs> by the universe she's going through some physical um, hardships too so we have compassion for each oh, other wonderful. and uh, any up um, You're my friend all right well lovely Thank to you. lovely to uh, talk with you yeah, yeah. thanks so what do we do do we all right folks cut. Okay.